Naran Maroku Paran Wanyan Wanrua Maroku Paran Ani Parahuka Nang Nayang Navy Morong Winyan Naraku Paraku Yahu Paraku Neon Kapapo. We acknowledge the Wanrua people, traditional keepers of this land. We pay respect for elders past, present and emerging. Hi, my name's Malcolm Franks. I'm a Wanderua man and I've lived in Singleton all my life. When I was growing up, we were sort of discouraged from learning about Aboriginal history. And I thought this would take this opportunity so I can actually learn more and get engrossed in the language so I can actually know what the language was and is. A lot of our culture is passed down through paintings on wall art, uh, song lines, and um, stories that you know, they used to tell, tell the younger ones around campfires and that, um, how to, yeah, what was what and how things done. And a song line is like our old fashioned road map, our old uh, Google map, as you say these days. It actually talk you through what to do and where to go and where to stop. The, I, I say the old English history, it's all written down where our history is put in towards uh, put in the old, old uh, the elders and once they stop teaching or stop the elders teaching the like my generations when I was young it's sort of it's a gap there that was lost but now with this course it's actually re-establishing a link to the past well I quite enjoyed it it um, opened my mind to things and um, with the book they hand out you know you can actually you know do a bit of some research at home on yourself uh, only Sharon gave out um, little stories or little cartoons with the words on it and how's it, how's it spoken and you go at home in your own time and your own comfort you can click on the click on the little word and say it'll say the word you can say it and play it back until you get used to saying that word like I said as an older fella <laughs> I find it hard, easier to mimic learn by mimicking than actually learn trying to learn to read it once you get learning and you want to hear it, it's, it's a musical language. You know, it just it sounds like someone's singing to you. You know, if someone's fluent in it and, you know, they're speaking, you know, it sounds like a lullaby. Well, growing up, like I said, I come from the other side of Singleton, like, and I went to a one, one classroom school. And they were only teaching the European history. And I didn't know a great deal about Aboriginal history until I was in my 40s, early 40s. So it's it's a chance for me to catch up and learn about my history. I'm still learning today, so I take every opportunity to learn something. And I can pass on to other people or pass on to my nephews and nieces, and I find that a great deal easier. And it gives me a, a connection to the country and the the rural people. Well, I'm grateful Muswell Council. They give everyone the opportunity, if they want to, to learn about one real language. Well, if you've got the opportunity to do the course, I highly recommend it. The instructions are easy. Um, they talk you through it. Um, it's a friendly place to study. And if you need extra help, they're willing to stay back and help you. So, highly recommend it.